So this right here, so this right here is the main contents of that tool belt and this stuff wants to go in that Klein backpack. I do have miscellaneous, I have several other markers, I have, you know, LED light bulb, uh, some pieces of wire. This is, pou this pouch right here is my junk drawer. Uh, I do have wire nuts in two pouches, but effectively this is the main aspect of the tools that I carry. Um, these are all the meters that I would normally carry. These two are brand new, but I had a simpler version. I just threw away my other one that went dead or that uh, just stopped functioning. And then this is really a combination of a, an outlet tester and a tick tester, contactless circuit tester. So with that, um, I could also then include a multimeter and uh, you know a couple of other things like an offset screwdriver uh, that uh, I would like to carry and a couple of power tools. So that Klein bag is going to really help me out getting all of this in there organized and be able to carry it in and maybe repurpose this and actually start wearing it when I'm on the job with only the tools that I need, knowing that that bag would be the Klein bag sits right there. Uh, knowing that it's you know, that Klein bag with all of my tools is right there ready to go and I don't have to carry everything with me because this just sits beside me when I'm working. I, I hardly ever wear it. All right, well, it doesn't look like much until you put it in a tool belt and then you try and wear it and then this becomes a lot. <laughs> All right, cool. So now I'm going to just try and see where this stuff wants to go. Where does it feel? You know, how does it feel? How does it make me feel? <laughs> Forgot the tool. I have a 16 foot Milwaukee tape. Nothing special. But this is also an everyday carry. So I believe I'm going to purpose this as the grab and go. So the tools that I use almost on every job are going to be in here. Number one, number one square drive, number two square drive, I believe they're called Robbie's. Uh, this is a six in one regular screwdriver, needle nose, diagonal cutters, strippers, linesman's. And I do have a pair of linesman's not here that I just purchased that also strip up to, this one goes to number 10. I believe that one goes to either number eight or six. And this tester. On the other side and here, all the other testers in that pouch. Everything else here is not necessarily always used. Like the awl, for instance, I use that to actually line up screw holes, uh, especially for ceiling fans with the canopies. Uh, that just allows me to get perfect alignment. So I take that out, hold it in place, get the actual screw started. Uh, learned that trick from an automotive friend of mine. Thank you very much, Ed. Um, some of these are redundant. I'm not always uh, cutting holes in drywall. I'm not always pulling staples. This is for tightening the nut on Romex connectors. Nice pair of long needle nose pliers for grabbing things you can't get to. Crimps for crimps. Utility knife though, that's probably one that should be in the everyday. All right. So other than that, I don't know what else in the everyday other than probably markers. Okay, the other tools want to just go in the bag proper. So that would be my grab and go. I can do most every job I need to do residential with this right here and some electrical tape.
This thing right here is like a little mini office. This folds down like a little desk. Um, you know, <laughs> got places, you have places for your pencils and pens. And then this back in here is kind of like a little pencil pouch. And that pencil pouch reminds me of back when I had the Trapper Keeper in, um, oh, what was it, elementary school? The Trapper Keeper? Oh, man. I, dear, dear to my heart. That's what this is. So very cool. And then back in here, and I will be including several of my pads. I am noted for writing things down. And so not this pad, because I'm still writing on this. But I'll have a couple of pads in here. And also I'm going to get one of those... Um, uglies reference guides, uh, electrical reference guides to keep in here. has a lot of uh, really good uh, code references, things like that, very consolidated form, and they should fit in here as well. Like 14 bucks. So I'll get one of those, and that'll go in there as well. That's nice. Very cool. Got the tape all coordinated. Got my name on the name tag. Tape measure. Yay! I am cross-loaded. I have no idea if that's the way it's going to live meaning just the arrangement of tools. And I do have a few other things to put in there. But otherwise, you know, seems very organic as far as where I'm going to do. And that little tool caddy, I wonder if that'll actually be useful or not. I think this is good to go. I think that was a very solid purchase. I will have to get a couple of containers for things like wire nuts and stuff, because that's not really set up for like small parts and pieces. And so with a couple of containers, maybe some small square boxes or something like that, or uh, you can get like uh, those money, money pouches with the one zipper. I could get those and have a couple of those. I think you can buy those color cord and I can get several of those and have those in there and say, oh, if I grab the blue one, it's going to be the blue wire nuts. If I grab the red one, it's red wire nuts, etc. And I think that would fit in there. All right. Well, hey, thank you very much for sticking with me. Uh, just a little bit of cross-loading, showing what tools I had, almost like a little inventory without cleaning out my junk drawer in here, you know, because that's, that's all the loose stuff. That's all the extra stuff, this little sticks of wire and everything. That didn't go in there yet. I'll wait and figure out a system for all that. You all take care. Have a great one because you deserve it. If you would, like and subscribe. Help me grow that channel base. And thank you very much. This has been a phenomenal year for me and my YouTube channel because of you. You all take care. All right. Yay.